So it's almost August, which means winter is coming. Alright, uh, in my part of the world, it's going to start getting chilly outside probably about mid-October. Um, the AC is also broken in my house, so it's about 40 degrees inside right now. Uh, like, it, it's blowing as hard as it can, won't shut off, and it's very cold. So I guess today I want to talk about cold weather kits. And not so much just the kit as how to stay comfortable and, you know, effective and not wind up freezing to death, losing a finger, getting sick, whatever. Um, this is one of those lessons you learn the hard way. Uh, you know me from East One, you know I suck with cold and uh, just wasn't really prepared for it. So, what I've learned in the almost two years since then, or well, no, the year and a half since then is this. First... A lot of it's how you prepare before the event. Uh, the same way you deal with heat is the same way you deal with cold as far as what you intake. You need to drink lots of water. You need to eat right, okay? Um, your body is taxing itself, keeping itself warm. So that means you need to take in a little more water. You need to replace electrolytes. You need to have, you know, protein. I try to eat a pork chop before I go airsoft, before I go camping, before I hike. Uh, before I do yard work, try to eat, you know, something with a good, you know, good protein, get some nutrients flowing, you know, eat right. Don't be one of those guys that stays all up all night before the event and doesn't eat and tries to do some ramen or a hot pocket like that morning. No, you're going to be weak. You're going to be miserable. All right. And hungry. And while you're over there trying to eat and get ready, you know, get yourself back in the game. Everybody else is playing and you're not having fun. So that's probably the most important thing. That being said, you can't just go out there in like a t-shirt or like a hoodie and jeans and expect to be okay. Um, you need to layer right, okay? You need to wear good, thick pants. Jeans work if you play in jeans. BDU pants work. Try to get winter weight BDU pants. Um, you need to, you know, like I said, layer right. A good wool underlayer. Uh, wicking material isn't really going to keep you warm. It'll keep sweat off of you and keep, you know, because that'll bother you. You know, you're sweaty. The cold's going to bother you more. But, uh, wicking material isn't really a great idea for actually keeping you warm. Uh, you know, Under Armour and stuff is not really designed to do that. It's designed to keep sweat off your body. Um, now they make stuff that wicking and does keep you warm, but, you know, uh, the, uh, Army Bear suit is good. Um... You know, just a nice, warm, long johns. You know, basically just some warm long johns that you can still move around in. Um, good socks. You know, in the summer, you can kind of get away with playing in regular old socks you bought at Walmart. You know, some basic cotton socks, because it's not that big a deal. Now, it might hurt your feet a little bit if you're actually doing some patrols, stuff like that. But as far as, uh, you know, the weather outside, you want to wear good socks. They're going to keep your feet warm and will stay keep your feet warm if they get wet wigwams i love wigwams i think mine are behind the couch right now because i just threw them back there because my room's a mess but um try to go for mostly wool if not 100 percent wool they're kind of, they can be kind of itchy you wear them enough that won't bother you and they'll kind of they'll kind of soften up as you wear them and you know as you wash them and stuff as far as gear um you know it's a good idea to use gear you can adjust to fit snugly over your layers okay um so, like I said, you know, I don't like plate carriers to begin with, but make sure that whatever gear you're using, you can adjust to fit right over your, over your, uh, you know, your, your jacket. Good jackets, um, like I'm wearing a drug rug right now, honestly, that's good for like some speed soft stuff, and I know the drug rug's kind of what, you know, it's a meme, it's a joke, whatever. Um, really better idea to go with a nice hard shell, uh, you know, it could be, a, you know, leather jacket works, uh, something, something waterproof, and still insulated. Uh, the M65 Field Park are one of the warmest jackets I think I've ever had. Uh, Carhartt makes good stuff. Um, for rain, uh, you know, I use the uh, the uh, Army uh, Gore-Tex Parka. Those wear out uh, over time, especially if you're wearing, like, you know, like a shoulder. Uh, you know, you got, <coughs> you, <coughs> excuse me. you got suspenders on, something like that. Um, but they're they're good for what they are, and if you layer right, the rain won't really bother you, and they they will keep you fairly warm. Uh, although not as warm as like the M65 or something similar. Um, a lot of it is just don't overexert yourself. You know your body's taxing itself uh, fighting the weather. Um, you can't always you know if you're gonna play, the weather's not always gonna be perfect. So you just kind of got to deal with it sometimes. 
Um, just, you know, a lot of it is mental toughness. It really, for me, takes a lot more mental toughness to play in the cold than it does the heat. Because I know in the heat, you know, I can cool down fairly quickly if I, you know, in theory, I can go lay in a kiddie pool, get naked, lay in the kiddie pool, lay in the bathtub, or, you know, just drink drink water. Uh, there's a, it's a little more, a little more goes into it staying, staying warm, though. So, um, you know, get a good hat, get a good insulated hat, nice toboggan, watch cap. Um, you know, I really, uh, I prefer to wear toboggan or something like that when it's cold outside. Uh, so, you know, as opposed to like a ball cap or a helmet or whatever. Um, <coughs> just watch how you dress and, you know, you want to try to actually keep heat on your body. That's what keeps you warm. Your body heat obviously keeps you warm. Well, you want to insulate well, keep that flowing, okay? Keep the heat just, you know, to wear it, uh... It'll, it, it gets trapped in, in, uh, in your clothing and stays on you. At the same time, though, a lot of people, what they do is they try to be too warm and they wind up actually becoming a heat casualty because they're overdressed. Um, as you move, uh, move around, you want to strip down layers. If at all possible, you know, put them in your rucksack, leave them at the FOB, leave them at the staging area, put them in your truck, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, but you want to remember that you're still exerting yourself, and even though it's cold outside, you know, if you're going to be doing really physically intensive stuff, it might not be a good idea to wear a whole bunch of thick layers. Uh, you still want to be able to move around. You know, you still want to be able to get on your belly. You still want to be able to go around corners and draw your mags and all that good stuff. Um, but just remember, you know, wear something that's that's comfortable. Wear something that keeps you warm, but wear something that allows you mobility. Okay? Um, dress right for what you're doing. That's really the most important thing when preparing for airsoft. Dress right for what you're doing. Um, in any case, uh, it's still going to be fucking hot outside for probably the next two or three months, uh, so this is just kind of a preparatory, is that even a word, you know, kind of in preparation for cold weather coming, and you know, it's going to start cooling off about mid-October down here, probably, uh, probably going to start cooling off probably late September for some of you guys, um, so keep drinking water, keep, uh, keep staying cool for now, but, uh, start preparing yourself for the event that the AC locks on the lowest setting, and your house turns into a meat locker, or, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, Starts getting cold. In any case, uh, I'm going to get off and go find something to do and hopefully go to work today. Come on, temp company, call me back. Well, remember, uh, you should always go outside and do something productive. And I'm about to go outside because it's fucking cold in here. I love you very much. You can touch my beard when it comes back. Bye. <laughs>